Alrighty, today's the debuting episode of TNN Garage. Welcome to our garage, YouTube. I'm Tyler. And I'm Nate. And we turn the free junk into more junk. We got this, like, 1980s, I think, because the color reminds me of my grandparents' bathroom. Yamaha four-wheel drive 350. We got this from one of my uh, friend's grandmas when she visited my house for some reason. And uh, we got it for free. It had a fire. She's a little burnt up, but it will rebuild. We'll make it a nice machine. She'll, she'll be beautiful. We got a flat tire here. We'll fix that up for you guys. Uh, currently, she doesn't start. God damn it. At least we got the key for our guns when we go on it. Yeah, let's see what we got in here. Some old rusty kitchen knife. I mean, shit. It works pretty good. <laughs> I cut it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, let's cut to our next scene where we start ripping this thing apart. We'll get the plastic off and we'll show you what we start with. Yeah, I think we can pick it up. Can't be that heavy. It's, it's 1980s. They made things light. It's blue. It's my favorite color. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, wait. Wow! Wow, look at that! It worked. That was easy. That's the first time. Jeez. Alright, let's get to work on it. Rip this ugly glue off? Now, obviously it doesn't run. We can sit here all day and act like it runs. We can make it run. Like this one does. First thing is the dented bumper. It makes it look old. Jeez. Let's fix it. So, obviously this plastic's a little, a little beat up, so we're gonna get this ripped off, so. Hopefully we can get something over 120 PSI so we can just clean up the wiring harness and make it easy. So we're going to screw this in the spark plug hole. And don't mind the noise, it's a different night, it's much colder, but we got our little space heater over here running trying to keep us warm. So, if you can't hear too well, sorry about that, but we got to stay warm. Got my traffic cone hat on for safety so people can see my head. Alright, now that we got our gauge all hooked into the spark plug hole, we're going to hold the throttle at full throttle and then we're just going to pull the engine over until the needle stops moving and see where we lie. It's not going to work. We got about 105. That radius, that's, that's enough to start. About the best. Is it going? No. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we're maxing out at about 110, 105, but that's better than nothing. It should, shouldn't be sufficient. It is, it hasn't ran in years, you gotta remember, so it doesn't have any oil sealing it up. It's cold, so it doesn't have any. But we're over 100, we should be able to get it to start. Let's start with the wiring harness, guys. We're gonna cut it all out and put a new one in for you. Oh yeah. Just how we like it, nice and warm.
this thing I'm gonna have to cut it up because I don't think it's gonna have exactly the same connectors. But yeah. be close enough. These all look like somebody replaced them. Stuck. Alrighty guys, we're just gonna set the carburetor in this parts cleaner overnight to get it shined up and new looking. One second guys, gotta get this bucket out of here. Ah, we're good. Just set the lid so nobody touches it. But in the meantime, Got my 65 C10 right here. Uh, we ripped the engine out. Um, we've never taken an engine out of a car. Yeah, so we did this back in the springtime over our spring break. And as you can see, if you look up into it, huh? well, get a little flashlight. There you go. Got nothing. There's no engine and no Come transmission. On. We bought a 1999 Cummins 12 valve that's over at the engine shop getting rebuilt. We're gonna come and swap this bad boy. It's going to be a sight to see this thing rolling coal next summer. So make sure to subscribe and see all our videos.